Hey, welcome to this computer system in social box. It's Arch Linux B open box. It's one of the 26 ISOs you can have for Arch Linux. And we are going to uh, make a topic, a video. Uh, a topic is to make a snapshot in VirtualBox. So we have VirtualBox 6 out. We have understood finally what the settings should be to have a working uh, driver, graphics controller and all that. And we have the possibility just by mistake, control T, you say, whoa, what's this? And then I went look uh, into it, went to look into it. Um, it's similar like in VMware. So what snapshot means that you freeze the system as it is now. At this point in time, the code, the information, anything you changed, uh, this is a uh, freeze in time and it's going to be written away. You can rename it or give it a description if you like. I think that's best, but this educational video doesn't really matter. So a picture has been taken. I have to do something, right? So I can do an update. I see already a red icon up there. So yes, I can do an update and then see if the update comes back in afterwards. But let's do something else. Let's change our graph. When we boot up, we always get these white lines of black and white and you choose three lines. I think you choose the upper line. What if I tell you, you can change that? And that is our exercise then to get back to the previous snapshot because it will go wrong. No, it won't. What we'll do is control T and then we go to yay. And we say, I want to change my graph. I would like to find a theme. And they go and have a look around to see. Let me make it bigger. So there's a breeze theme for Grub. This from extra. So this is not coming from, these are guys are not coming from AOR. So normally they're work, right? And the other guys are coming from somewhere else, are coming from other places. We have 17 choices and um, well, let's install something. I've been uh, using and talking with the developer of uh, Theme Vimix. So let's install that one. And let's install it. So something happens, right? You know what to do. The something is not magical. There is this little tool up here, Pamac AOR, click on it dependencies, files, this is what happens. He made something in boot, grub themes, a folder Vimix with all kinds of nice icons. And that's it basically. Okay, fine. We got more themes in grub, fine. Super shift D will work here. Right mouse click will work as well. I'm looking for grub customizer. Grub customizer. There is even other buttons available. There is also Super F11, Super F12, and so on. Super F12, that's this one. Anyway, see that you get to Grub Customizer. Go to Appearance, go to Theme, Save Vimix, Save. That was very technical indeed. And then you wait for the update. That's that. Reboot, Exit, Restart. enjoy this screen is because our iso is still in there virtual box right so booting the existing os or the hard disk uh-huh so this is now our grub and our grub as you can see maybe have to zoom in a little bit and have some fantasy that's a penguin yes the first time i looked at it i thought as well that it was a stretched icon or something but it's the penguin so I'm asking the developer if he could add Arco Linux to it. Would be nice to have a nicer icon there. And then we boot up. So Grub has been successfully installed, basically. Now the thing about this um, the snapshot things. Let's kill it. You won't see anything more. Grub has been installed. And now. You have this icon up here, maybe you've noticed already, this icon there, and you can go to, sorry, you can left click, right click is this one, left click is the one you need. You have this, details, that's this, snapshots, that's that, and logs, all right? 
So we're definitely going to need the snapshots. This is, of course, a different kind of um, virtual machine. It's this one that I need. And then we can say the current state changed. So we have one um, snapshot created, and that's this one. Okay, That's the current state, and that's the previous one. So we can restore whatever was uh, available. And then you have to read. You're about to restore snapshot one. Okay, You can create a snapshot of the current state of the virtual machine first by checking the box below. If you do not do this, the current state will be permanently lost. Got it? So either you say, I want to revert back to the past and never mind what I did to grub. Or first say, okay, maybe I would like to revert back to the grub state and then I'm going to leave this one on. So what happens is going to create a second snapshot. So this one is going to be the grub thing. And this is now our current state. So if we double click, if I'm right, and yeah, restoring, that's something you shouldn't do. Let's restart if I'm right it should be all black and there we are so the system reverted itself back to before I was installing grub and that's the point if you were ever on uh, Mac then think about time machine re in re resetting everything but then really resetting everything not just uh, an application or something in your on your desktop but basically resetting everything so this snapshot too if i'm correct should have the grub again right so if we restore this one again snapshot three <laughs> yeah, complex right <laughs> And we run that one, current state, sorry, we run this one. Double click, run, start then. Can I run this one? No, it should be this one. Okay, start then. Have I grub back? Uh oh. Yeah. So that's, it's. it takes a little bit getting used to, but if you remember that a snapshot is a free, can revert back to, if something goes wrong, then this might be a very educational tool. You want to learn of something, you put it in virtual box, you start experimenting. First, you take a snapshot. Then you experiment. If something goes wrong, okay, well, let's revert back to the snapshot and try again. That's a great way, of course, for students to learn. All right, enjoy snapshotting.